All right, let's take a quick look at extruding. Select an object. So first create an object like that, and then make sure you can see your manipulators. Right click on that object, go to face. Then as you roll over a face, and I still have the move tool selected, the move tool shortcut key is the W. Select a face. You should see this manipulator up here. All you have to do is hold down the shift key and don't let go. You see the word extrude when you roll over that arrowhead. Very cool. Click and drag it up. Do the same with this other face. Click and drag out. And why do you see two of them? Well, that's because in the modeling toolkit, I have symmetry on. I'm going to turn symmetry off. So click and drag like that. Now, if you happen to have soft selection on the B key, when you click and drag, it's not going to work because it's just doing a soft selection. You can see that it's soft selection. Look at that fall off of that yellow. Press the B key again to exit soft selection and then hold down the shift key and pull out. An alternative to doing this with the shift and drag, you have two. One is you just select the face and click this button in the modeling toolkit, extrude and then make sure you drag out that extrusion. Otherwise, everything's pancaked on top of one another and you don't want that. Well, pancakes are delicious, but not when you're extruding. So extrude and left. The other way is to go to select a face and go to edit mesh and select extrude. That's the same as clicking this button. So the shortcut is holding down the shift key with the move tool selected, W key, hold down the shift key, and drag out. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe because subscription numbers let me know that you're enjoying the content.